I know we're here to talk about the Trey method, eating healthy, living for another 50, 70 plus years. At some point, though, we may want to go talk to our friends over at McGrath, Malinsky, Karbowski, and Nunn Funeral Directors. Great group of guys. Steve Karbowski did an amazing job at handling my father's funeral and doing some prearrangements for my family as well. So down the road, if you need to chat with those guys, they are a blast to work with. They make the whole process very simple, especially during a time of grieving. Shifting gears to eating healthy so we don't have to go talk to them for a long time. Here we go. The constants, regardless of what plan, whether it be the tray method, whether it be macros, does not matter. This has to be there. Number one, consistency is king. Without consistency, we have nothing. Number two, We've got to be in that caloric deficit. If we're trying to shed extra pounds, a.k.a. extra body fat, we've got to be in that caloric deficit. That holds true across the board. Reduce and or eliminate sugar, right? If we're drinking Gatorade, drinking soda, drinking booze, drinking coffee with six spoons of sugar in there, we are shooting ourselves in the foot. Don't do that. Same thing, booze. Don't need it. Empty calories. It actually makes us more likely to be sick. And if we do get sick, it's going to be harder to recover. Do yourself a double favor. I don't know if that's proper grammar. But win twice, cut the booze out, cut the sugar out. At least for the six weeks. Focus on your sleep. Looking for that flat belly, looking for that sleek look. Sleep, 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 guys. I'm telling you, sleep your way to a flatter belly. Six weeks, six months, six years. Can you see yourself doing this down the road? Can you see yourself doing this? Can you see yourself teaching this to somebody else? Hey, this is how I did it. It has to be simple so you can do it for a long time. 90% adherence, not perfection. And last but not least, these are life skills. This stuff isn't taught in school. It's unfortunate, but if you can learn it and implement it, it's great to know. So the tray method. Now, if you watched macros, macros is a little bit more complicated. Macros is very deep in the math. But I'll tell you what, if you love that and you're precise, macros can produce some phenomenal results. The tray method is the opposite. The tray method is not super precise, It can still produce good results, but we have to remember we're not going to be weighing and measuring. We're going to do some approximations. So we use these trays. And let's start with this. Where can I find these trays? Don't come down to my office and take them out of my closet, right? You can find them on Amazon. They're about 50 cents per tray. I'll put the link in below so you can order them. All right. If you weigh 180 pounds or less, or your goal weight is 180 pounds or less, we're going three trays. Count them, folks. One, two, three, three trays. I even drew them beautifully up on the board. If we are 181 pounds and above, and that's where we're going to stay, maybe we're a bigger male, maybe we want to be around 200 pounds to our goal weight, we're going to go four trays. So imagine one more tray on that board. Very simple to understand. That's why the tray method is probably one of my recommended methods for men and women. Number one, in the large portion of the tray, vegetables, any sort of vegetables preference towards green leafy vegetables. So we could go spinach, we could go broccoli, we could go green beans, we could go kale, we could go even you know uh, a lettuce if we wanted to. In the next smaller portion, right, then we need two equal smaller pieces here. Number one is going to be a complex carbohydrate. So we could think of something along the lines of a rice, we could go a sweet potato, we could even go a traditional potato. What we don't want again is simple sugars. We don't want table sugar in there. And then next to that, in the other smaller piece, is going to go a lean protein. So we could go chicken, beef, fish. Maybe you're vegetarian. You could go Greek yogurt. You could go uh, cottage cheese. You could go whey protein. We'll get into that uh, deeper, right? So this is an easy way to really quickly, without a food scale, do some eyeball approximations on serving sizes. The biggest portion is vegetables. You cannot go wrong eating more vegetables. You can't. You, No one that I know, and I've been doing this for a long time, has gained a bunch of extra weight because they had too many vegetables. It doesn't happen. Actually, usually when you start eating more vegetables, you feel amazing. Complex carbohydrates, right? So we said, okay, in the other spot, we can go rice. We can go different things. That takes the body a little bit longer to break down the carbohydrate. So in there... Uh, my go-to is going to be brown rice. You could do a quinoa. You could do. You could even do white rice and potatoes. But notice the size of that, right? If we were to put the carbohydrate in the larger portion and the vegetables in the smaller portion, or, or omit the vegetables, you wouldn't have the same effect. And the same thing. If we were just to forget about our friend called protein, we would have the 
uh, have a different effect. So we need to make sure that each tray looks the same as far as a vegetable, complex carbohydrate, and a lean protein. You pick and choose what works well for you. So you may say, John, I don't want to eat out of a tray for my breakfast. Well, you could make a shake. That shake could be a scoop of, let me grab it here, dun, dun, dun. a scoop of protein from our friends at Nutrishop New Hartford, go see Brandon. You throw that in the blender. All right, well, that took care of my lean protein. What am I going to do for my vegetables? You could throw in a couple big handfuls of spinach. That works. You could do a greens drink powder. That works. You could throw in, if you really wanted to, you could throw in some blueberries, right? Kind of blurs the line a little bit, but we're not throwing in uh, added things that we don't need. We could throw in the carb box, carbohydrate. We could throw in a possibly uh, banana. We could throw in a carbohydrate uh, mixture if we wanted to. So you could have that for your shake in the morning. Okay, what should I do for lunch? Okay, for lunch, you could do a large salad, right? There's your vegetable. What do I do for my complex carbohydrate? You could, again, get a rice, a small serving of potatoes. The key thing, though, is if you were doing this out to eat somewhere, you need to be able to look at your plate and realize, does my plate look like my tray if I were to make my tray at home? And then last but not least, we're going to have some dinner. Again, big, big emphasis on the vegetables. Again, smaller serving of complex carbohydrate, lean protein. This is an easy way to do our portion control. We do need to know what goes into each compartment. So what I can do is, for everybody in the challenge, send out a list that breaks down what all these different things are. So maybe I'm assuming that you know what lean proteins are, but I can give you a list of 10 or 15. Maybe I'm assuming you know what complex carbohydrates are, and I shouldn't do that. So I could send you a list so you could actually pick and choose from it. This tends to be one of the simpler ways to get it done. The trays make it convenient. This is where you see a lot of people having those beautiful pictures with all the meal prep being done. Sometimes that's macros. A lot of times that's the meal, or I'm sorry, the tray method. And it works really well. It's simple. It is not as precise as macros by any means. But I'll tell you, if you have 20 plus pounds to lose and you can do the tray method in an eyeball vegetable complex carbohydrate and lean protein, you're going to be doing great. Maybe you get down to the last five pounds, then you shift over to, to macros and all the specific math and tracking. So keep in mind those constants that always hold true, caloric deficit, reduce the sugar, reduce the booze, focus on your sleep. Then the tray method is a very, very simple way. Recap, vegetable, big portion, lean protein, smaller, complex carbohydrate, smaller, 180 pounds and under, uno dos trace, 181 and above, Uno, dos, four trays, cuatro, four trays. Eliminate the snacking in between and you're on the fast track to being healthy.